Hey, welcome back to another video. It's good to have you here in the studio. Today's video is all about branding your product and the big question is, should you brand your product? You know, what, what's the pros, what's the cons of branding your product? Is it expensive? You know, do I need to brand? These are very common questions that Amazon sellers have when they first get started is, do I need to brand my product? Is it really worth it? And uh, you know, do I need to register a brand? You know, how does this whole Amazon brand registry work? Can I do it for free? So I'm gonna address those questions and much more in this video. So stay with me, we'll be back in a second. My goal is to help as many people on this planet as possible. People that are positive, people wanting a positive change in their life, people wanting to start afresh, finding hot and trending products to sell online, and people wanting to make a positive impact for their family. Good to have you back. All right, so today's video, we're gonna be looking at uh, OEM and branding, all right? So I'm actually on alibaba.com as we speak, and one thing I'll, I'll sort of mention to you, right, is with Alibaba, OEM stands for Other Equipment Manufacturer, okay? So that's what it basically means. It's, it's they take your brand, right? You give them a logo, you can design a logo really relatively cheaply these days, and you design a good quality logo representing the brand that you want to, to, to put out there. You could call it Pete's, you know, Chef Tools, Pete's, Pete's Knife Sharpener, you know, Jane's so-and-so, right? You could call it really whatever you want. Create a nice logo, send it to your supplier and get them to put that either through an imprint or even on customized packaging onto your particular product, right? So again, they're willing to brand these particular products, right? You've got kitchen appliances, you've got uh, milk, warmer, milk warmers, I think, baby food maker. You've got other products here as well. And all these products, all these suppliers are actually doing OEM, which means they are manufacturing um, and putting your brand on products. Now, let me just tell you, a lot of suppliers end up going down, a lot of suppliers do this for you. You're just gonna ask them for it, right? And they're willing to do it for you, all right? So a common question we're gonna often ask is, you know, is it really needed? Do I really need to brand my first product? And the answer to that is actually no, you don't. You don't need to brand. Now sometimes when you brand a product, the MOQ, which means minimum order quantity, can go up. Doesn't always, but can sometimes go up. Now, instead of ordering 50 units or 100 units of something, if you want to put your logo on it, sometimes that branding will go up to maybe 300 or 500, right? So you spend, you have to spend a little bit more money because they've got to set up their machine and put your logo ready to stamp on the product, right? So there's a bit of a system to it. So what sometimes you're better off doing is contacting, for example, one of these suppliers. And let me just find a, a product here that I can use for as an example, right? So <clears throat> what's this? Disposable, waterproof. Let's say, for example, it was a foldable, customizable, foldable shopping tote, right? And let's have a look here. Let's, let's have a look at the image. Okay, great. All right. Uh, so let's say, for example, this was your product and you wanted to go along this product and you want to put your brand on it, right? Uh, you've got a couple of options. You can ask them what the MOQ is with branding and what the MOQ, the minimum order quantity is without the branding, right? See what they say. What you could do if you wanted to do is get them to initially do a small order, maybe 200, 250, 300, no branding, put it on Amazon. You can brand other things on Amazon. For example, you can basically, let me just type it in, uh, tote, was it a baby tote bag? I can't remember now. Baby tote bag, all right? No, let's just call it tote bag. I think it's reusable eco tote bag. I think that was it, okay. You could, you could still brand the product. So for example, this one right here, this is a Lotus trolley bag. Never seen this particular product before. So it looks like it separates your, your, your trolley into different uh, uh, items, right? Might be a decent idea, this particular product. So let's say for example, you wanted to do this and you wanted to brand it, right? But the supplier's asking you for 500 in branding. What you could do instead is you could still brand, you could basically brand that right there. This is the brand right here. You can still brand your actual 
Amazon listing in Australia. You got brand in the bullet points here, you got brand in the description down here. So there's a lot of other places where you can brand. You could brand the actual image as well if you wanted to brand, like they've, they've put like a little logo down here on the image. So you don't necessarily need, and they put it there as well, you don't necessarily need to brand, brand the physical product. You could still brand the images and the Amazon listing, all right? So uh, it's not all, all, you know, it's not always bad news if, if they're requiring uh, you to, to, to buy 500 units to brand. You don't have to do that. Just get a small test quantity in, then brand later on. And then you can also brand, you know, the same thing, images on eBay, Facebook, Instagram, Etsy. Uh, you can list your product in other platforms as well, and you can use the images on there as well, but uh, you don't necessarily need to always brand your physical product hopefully that helped and cleared up a few things and uh yeah any questions comment below and if you're looking to get something started on amazon and you're looking for uh you want to bounce some ideas off somebody you want to get some uh, advice on how to get started maybe you're looking for product ideas uh, give us a call in the office if you're serious about getting something started and you want to get something started asap uh, the australian number is 02 the number is on the screen down below here we've also got a new zealand phone number as well and we've got a usa number so uh, give us a call in the office also um, alternatively, uh, check, check out one of our free webinars that we have on our website. All right, have a great day. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye for now. See you later. Hey, this is what I'm going to promise you. We are running a live webinar. I would love to see you on the webinar. Here's what you're going to be learning on the webinar. I'm going to reveal 10 products that are currently selling right now on Amazon. I would love for you to see those products. I'm also going to reveal some products that I've been involved in personally as well with selling these on Amazon, all right? So I'm gonna reveal those products to you. And some of these products, very, again, light, small, profitable, things that you can brand and build your business around. Um, I'm also gonna show you the step-by-step -step process to getting involved, getting your product listed on Amazon. And I'm also gonna reveal strategies to actually getting started in the next 30 days. So I'd love to see you there. This is gonna be a great, a great training. And uh, yeah, visit our website, to find out more information on that. Talk to you soon, bye for now.